Hey, this is a video on a Zima crystal I've been working on. I thought maybe I'd pass on a little info to you guys. Uh, let me set my camera down here a little bit. More in the view here. All right, now for you guys that's got. Uh, I just want to pass this on so you don't worry about it. You should happen to make a mistake, but uh, you guys can probably see inside here that this has got a little pin on it on the end of it, right? Well, some of these uh, lighters, like the, the Zema, have a little pin on the end of it. This is the end of the pin. Now, what you might not know is, is that, uh, I'll see if I can, I can find it, but, uh, well, right there it is. So I'm going to see if you can see it, but there's a hole. It's not the end of the pin, but it's on the side of the pin. I won't be able to see that. So, if you break that pin off, here's what you'll have. It'll basically look like a regular filler valve. Alright? And, if you break that pin off, don't worry about it. Lighter's still going to fill up fine. And for you folks that have one with a pin on it, all you gotta do is just stick a standard butane can in there. Stick it down past the pin. And just fill it up. And you're good to go. Alright, so don't worry about it if you break that pin off. Uh, another little thing I wanted to say about this. Cristo, Cristo, however you want to call it. That, uh, you guys out there are pipe smokers. This is probably one of the best made vintage pipe lighters that uh, Zama made. Alright. It's an excellent pipe lighter. You know your flame adjustment's right there. Cap's right there. And I'm going to drain this lighter of all this butane and all the air. Hear all that air coming out of there? Lots of air in there. It's gone. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna weigh. I'm gonna weigh this lighter up. I don't know if you can. I'll try to put this down here so you can see it. It's zeroed out right now. I'm gonna put the whole thing on there. Looks like you got 71.5 grams. All right. 71.5. Now, I'm going to fill this thing up. Or at least what I think is full. Kind of hard to tell sometimes if you get them full or not. Purge your little purge your tank a little bit there. Get the air off of it. And shoot her one last time. Alright. Now 75.3. Okay, now that's 3.7 grams if I'm right. 3. Point, no. 3.8 grams. Got 
I believe it's three. Let me see here. Let's try to fill this up some more. That's 75. Three. Okay. That's 3.8 grams of butane in this lighter. That's a pretty good sized tank. 3.8 grams, almost full. One of the, about a half gram more than a I am Corona. Oh boy. You know, that's, I am Corona, oh boy, being kind of a standard for pipe lighters. Once you take on, if you got a crystal like this, once you take uh, that filler screw off, this bottom cap comes off too. So that's why you want to make sure you don't uh, you don't lose them filler caps. All right, filler cap screws. Just don't go out and buy these parts for these lighters no more. What you have to do is buy a lighter off the internet. You know, since paying twenty and thirty dollars just to get a screw. Like me, you might have a couple extra laying around, but we don't want to lose them. Now when you get the extended range ranges on these flames, it's putting out quite a bit of gas and that erratic flame like that's normal. Alright, plus I just filled this up and I have a little bit of air in it because I had everything popped off on it. You take the filler cap out on a lighter, good chance you're going to have some air moisture in the tank. A couple of refills or so or purges if you want. This flame will straighten out. Best way to tell if you got a leak is just put your Take everything off here as far as your cap and your bottom plate, stick it in some alcohol. Open your flame wide open and stick it up to your ear, then open the cap. If the cap opens away a ways before you hear the valve or the gas come out, then you're probably you're good. Unless you have a real small mining leak. You guys out there looking for vintage pipe lighter, I'll be honest with you. These are hard to beat. The only thing that I prefer over one of these as far as Flynn Ignited is one of these. Probably the best in my opinion Flint fire pipe lighter out there. You know. Right there's your flame adjustment. Right there's the tops for your flint. Um, I don't think I got much, if any, gas in this thing at all. Shut it off like that, ignite it like that. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Two excellent vintage pipe lighters. There's a third one if you want. And uh, if you're really... Um, <clears throat> into flint lighters or into pipe lighters one of the better ones that you can get as far as PGO type is definitely definitely the Savinelli pipe lighter manufactured by Haim Krona out of Japan I imagine anybody here who knows anything been smoking pipe a while knows anything about lighters probably knows all all these lighters right here Zama Flaminaire Zama Cristo and a Savinelli pipe lighter by Alan Krona with the pipe tamper in the bottom. Alright guys.